guys, welcome back. Um, today I've created this very soft, peachy eye look. Um, you can wear it in the daytime. It's perfect for like every day, summer, spring. I know we're going into autumn, winter here in Australia, but I thought I'd just like to do a peached eye look for you. Um, I've paired it with this mauve pinky brown lip it can be paired with any lip if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for all the love and support on my last video um lots of love guys see you later i'm starting off this eye look using mac 24 hour extend eye base just using a small amount on my finger placing that on my lid and up to my brow bone just repeating that on the other eye. Now using MAC Brulee eyeshadow and a MAC 217 and just using a small amount to set this primer. Just using a shadow that's close to my natural skin colour that's going to help with blending in the eyeshadows a bit later. I'm now using the Morphe 35O palette and using this light peachy yellow shade, just putting that using that on a Morphe M441 and placing that in my upper crease as a transition colour and also in the outer V of my eye using windshield wiper and circular buffing motions to apply this. I'm just gonna be repeating that on the other eye. Now using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow on that same Morphe M441. Just layering that on top of the Morphe shadow um, using windshield wiper motions and circular buffing motions just to add some more dimension to this look. Now using the Morphe M433 and this bright soft orange shadow I'm just putting that in my lower crease and out of V using those same motions to blend in I'm using a very light hand with these shadows as they're super pigmented tapping off my brush in between applying the shadow as I don't want any fallout on my face and I don't want to have too much product on my brush Just using the uh, Morphe M441 and blending that in together. I'm using the Morphe M433 and this bright orange shade, just using a very small amount on my brush and a very light hand and putting that in my outer V just to add some further dimension to this eye look. I'm now using this deep burnt orange shade on that same Morphe M433 and just placing that directly over the top of that lighter orange shade just to further deepen this eye look. I'm placing the lighter brighter orange shade on my lower lash line with the Morphe M433 and using the Morphe M441 brush and that lighter peachy orange shade just to blend it all together. I'm now using this like iridescent peachy shimmery shade for my lid colour using that on a more, uh, MAC 239 brush just placing that all over the lid and then I'll be using the Morphe M441 to blend that all in together. I'm using the lightest white shade in the palette. It's just a matte white as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. I'm using that on the Real Techniques accent brush.
Now using the Coco Lashes in the style Misha and the Re uh, House of Lashes Lash Glue and just um, looking straight ahead at the mirror, placing the lash on the middle part of my lash line and then tucking in the inner and outer corners. Just repeating the same on the other eye, so looking straight ahead, tucking in the outer corner first and then the inner corner. This lash was playing me, it just did not want to stick on my inner corner, it was giving me a lot of trouble, but we got there in the end. These lashes are one of my favourite styles, they're just so doe-eyed and wispy looking and they just give your eyes such a nice wide bright eye look. Now using MAC Extended Play Mascara on my bottom lashes. This mascara is amazing for your bottom lashes. It gives them some real, really nice length and separation and just such a nice black colour. Using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara for my top lashes. Just blending in my lashes with the false lashes that I'm wearing. I'm now using Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. Again, I just wanted a nice bright eye look so I didn't apply a black or a dark colour into my uh, waterline. I just wanted to keep it nice and nude and keep my eyes looking nice and awake. I'm just curling my lashes with my false lashes just to make sure that they're all nice and blended together. Just using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to set all my makeup in place and I'm now using the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. This is just a lovely mauve pinky brown colour, perfect for everyday wear. Um, just applying that all over my lips. And that concludes this look guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Thanks.